Marvel Rivals, a game that has been highly anticipated and a lot of people are looking forward to this game coming out. Uh, as of now, there's I think been two closed betas. I have participated in the second. And in this video, you guys will get to see some of my fresh thoughts and sentiments in regards to the game that I've played so far. I played about a good like hour and eight minutes and got a feel for just about all of the characters. Maybe like a couple of them I haven't touched. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna talk about it. Stick around, let's get into it. You're now watching The Captain. So first and foremost, I want to talk about how dope this game looks like. It's beautiful. I love the art style. I love the character designs for all the characters. Uh, a lot of the guys have that big bulky design, like really um, similar to like the older X-Men comics. But all in all, it's, it looks great. The game looks great. All the characters look dope. I'm excited to see what kind of skins and other cosmetic items that they bring into the game down the line. Because I think that's where this game is going to make its big dollar in regards to microtransactions in the future the season passes it's going to be those cosmetics and these skins these skins are going to be sick so far the skins i've seen there's like a steampunk skin that i've seen for iron man thus far as well as the world war hulk skin or like the planet hulk skin that looks sick getting into some of the actual gameplay itself this is very similar to overwatch for anybody who's played that game you may feel at home here and it's kind of similar to any team based game in general in regards to people playing their roles. Thus far from what I've noticed, there is the Vanguard class, which is probably the one I personally wanna be playing the most of. Uh, it's kind of a tank class. And the Vanguard class that I've seen so far includes characters like Hulk, Venom, Magneto, Doctor Strange. And these characters are dope to me because again, as a person who usually runs a tank, you get the tank aesthetic in regards to having a lot more, um, a lot more of a, of a chance to get hit. And also in this game, a lot of the tanks have a lot of utility. So the tanks aren't just left out in regards to just being big shields for everybody else. Hulk as a character is very interesting. So for people that aren't aware, he is my favorite Marvel character. Beyond him being my favorite character, he, when I first played him, I felt damn near unstoppable. And I think that's where the, the team aspect comes into play. Because although I do have 800 health, which I think is the highest pull in the game of all the characters you can play with so far, I did feel tanky. But part of the reason why I felt tanky was because of the squad that I was using. Uh, the people that were running the healer classes and, and a lot of the support classes kept me like constantly getting my health regenerated, constantly giving me over buffs and shields while I was using my abilities to also cover them. Because with this Hulk, he has an ability that will like instantly give yourself and I believe two other teammates a little mini shield for a short duration. And he just he's dope all around. I love that character. His super jump, I feel like could be a little bit more polished in regards to getting more distance out of it. I think to compensate for just being able to go further is when you jump higher, maybe have them hover, maybe have them hover in the air a little bit longer. So he, you're taking a risk in regards to him being a sitting duck in the air if you just wanna try to hop over all the enemies when they can see you. Besides that, again, I love him. And I love a lot of the Vanguard classes like I mentioned before. Outside of him, my other favorite two Vanguard class characters are going to be Doctor Strange and Magneto. With Doctor Strange in particular, like I mentioned before, characters that can instantly relocate, get vertical, move horizontally really quickly are dope to me. And he amplifies that for the ability that he has to just create a literal sling ring portal like you would in the MCU. And in doing that, you can get incredibly vertical really quickly. You can get behind people really quickly. Um, but again, you have to be very, very careful with that thing because people can shoot through that as well and they can like coming right behind you so you can get snug up on it and not even realize it so you have to be really careful about how you use that because that can be something you can use to advance really quickly and push a team or it can be something that gives the other team a advantage to push you or, or take you out with a quickness if they have like their super to move away from the tanky vanguard builds i do want to get some of the dps characters storm 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 is great storm is low-key broken uh as you get into her if people can learn how her controls work and to get the aim with her lightning bolts really on point you can become a, a a devastating player in this game when it comes to storm just for the fact of one verticality and in this game it's really hard to see characters that can fly as they're going really high up so if you can get air supremacy you can literally just rain hell upon the battlefield on all the other people and all the other enemies that you have on the field there and with her in particular, her ultimate is one of the key things that make her really busted to me is because she creates this little hurricane and she can just 
run past you with this hur hurricane and she's doing just a ton of DPS damage. So if your team's bundled up in a choke point trying to hold something and she gets her ultimate and she just lets that bitch loose, she can just wipe out your entire team damn near if you're not like running a bunch of tanks in that moment in time and just decimate your whole team and win a match. Uh, she is dope, love her to death. Please play her and check her out if you enjoy her. In regards to two characters that are very interesting to me because I'm not sure if I love them yet or if I think a lot of work needs to be put into them. Um, it may be, it's probably the former of the two, just for the factor of these characters are highly difficult to use off rip. Spider-Man, Black Panther being the two characters. Like I mentioned before, characters that can get vertical really quickly and characters that can move horizontally really quickly in a fight are just, it's invaluable. Somebody can be focused in on you, just unloading the clip on you. And if you can just get out of their line of fire with a quickness and maybe even like flank them really quickly, that's like invaluable as an ability. Um, and with Spider-Man, he can do that quick as hell. Dude, swing will literally take you from like uh, zero on the ground to like 2,000 feet in the air really quickly and in, with, within an instant damn near. Um, and he can get you across the battlefield. So he's a really good way to like aggressively push sometimes. And also, for the most part, he is really good to attack with from a range perspective. Again, he's, he's just really good all around. The difficulty comes with kind of managing the web swing because because it is so fast it's kind of hard to gauge and manage um in the middle of a firefight because you're not really like focused in on how far you're going to go where you're going to go sometimes it's really just like to get out of a bad situation sometimes but using it strategically for a offensive push can be really also devastating like i mentioned with storm now with all those other characters i mentioned in the game they are a little bit more difficult to use out the box like unless you have a general idea of how this type of game works and how certain skill sets and, and utility works in this game from playing games like Overwatch or maybe previous games that require roles. If you didn't play those games, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty. But for these set few characters they have in the game, they are really easy to use and easy just to pick up and kind of not become experts with them per se, but just to pick up and do a lot of damage with without having to like learn all the abilities in depth. Those characters being Iron Man and Star-Lord. Uh, starting off with Star-Lord, again, like I mentioned before, the verticality and the horizontal movement. With him, he has in spades. His jet boots allow him to fly up in an instant really quickly. You can, move, you're moving forward with it because like you're going up and you can ascend really quickly with it, but it's also like put, driving you forward. So it's like giving you an off, uh, offensive attack, essentially, the way you can close out a lot of, a lot of ground and kind of make up for for, for lost time if you're like trying to push a point really quickly or whatever it may be. Although his mobility is extremely, extremely, extremely easy and extremely dope to use, his guns and his offensive abilities are where he shines. Buddy literally has the highest fire rate that I've seen so far outside of the Scarlet Witch with her ability, where he's just like constantly dumping those uh, those bullets on you and raining, raining hell on you. And it's, 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 it's semi, well, I think it is automatic. Um, it, it, it's dope, it's dope, it's dope. And for some of the characters I missed, again, I didn't get to play with Namor, I didn't get to play with Adam Warlock, I just didn't get around to him. I'm gonna try to play with him a little bit more um, before this beta closes and it gets closer to the actual game coming out. Another honorable mention characters of characters that I enjoyed playing with and had, had a lot of fun with, Girl of Witch was dope. She has like the auto lock on ability or like the fire rate with the gun that Star-Lord has, but times 10 because her, I guess, spells, instead of like, for lack of a better term, because they they shoot like guns, uh, they're out of lock on. So if anybody comes within a certain range of her ability, she's just immediately shredding through you. Um, again, she gets very squishy because she's only at 250 health. If people get near her, she is shredding through you. She looks dope as a character, her design is sick, and then she can do a lot of utility work as well. All in all, this game made a really dope first impression on me. I highly recommend this for people that are Marvel fans and that also just are looking for something new and kind of fresh to play. Especially if you're coming from playing a game like Overwatch where you're familiar with how the setup is and how it works. I think this game can be something dope, especially for Marvel comic fans, because it's just, like I mentioned before, so many different cosmetic possibilities you can do and so many different characters you can just add in. Um, you have like a laundry list of characters from big to small that you can add into this game. It's just a lot of stuff that's possible with it. 
Um, and if they capitalize on this in the right way, Marvel Rivals could be a staple in a lot of people's households. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, the game was dope to me, and I will be doing more streams for this before the close beta ends in the future. Um, and you can find this in the live streaming section tab of the channel. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have a favorite character you would like to see in this game that hasn't been shown yet in the main roster? Uh, for me in particular, I will be very surprised that they don't have Deadpool or Wolverine coming in the very near future with the movie coming out. Um, and there's just a plethora, a plethora of characters you can add into the game. But again, I digress. This has been Captain Diesel of Captain Diesel's Dojo, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. You're now watching the Captain.